Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm pleased to rise today and table the Respecting Families of Murdered and Brutalized Persons Act, which will amend Section 745 of the Criminal Code. Mr. Speaker, I want to empower our courts with the ability to increase parole ineligibility when sentencing individuals who have abducted, sexually assaulted, and killed our innocent and most vulnerable from the current 25 years to a maximum of 40 years. This bill isn't about creating stiffer penalties for sadistic murderers. These depraved convicts don't qualify for parole. My bill is about saving families of the victims from having to go through the agony of attending unnecessary and traumatic parole hearings. Mr. Speaker, in all the research that our office has done, what we've discovered is that these murderers, these sadistic individuals, have never been granted parole. Thus, these hearings are unnecessary. Based on what we want to do through this bill is give the judge the discretionary powers to make a recommendation to the jury and also in the sentencing process to award an ineligible period for parole from 25 up to 40 years. Justice Hughes, when he was sentencing David Theron back in 1975, said about Theron that he should never again be on the streets and roadways of our country. And we know that from the families that have had to go through these parole board hearings, uh, with the victims that use these to actually uh, terrorize the family. And Gary Rosenfeld, who is the uh, stepfather of one of Clifford Olson's uh, victims, said in 2006, what's really horrendous about this is this is only the beginning. We're going to have to do this every two years as long as Olson lives, and this is a very, very painful experience for myself and my family. And Mr. Speaker, when we pass um, my bill, uh, that will uh, help those families not having to deal with those experiences over and over again when it's completely unnecessary. <clears throat>